Hey, good morning YouTube. I just wanted to show you guys a little update on my hunting truck. So there's a few things I've changed on this since the last video. Uh, it's been since spring since I made those videos. And here we are now, we're about halfway through summer. Um, starting to do a lot of fall season uh, hunting prep. So I just wanted to go through and just kind of show you guys a few things I changed, updated on the hunting truck. So first off, I put this um, low profile bug deflector on it. Now, I don't really know how well it actually deflects bugs, but I think it looks good. It's nice, clean, um, it's smoked. Um, I think it just ties things in really well. And also, I installed these new smoked headlight housings. And those are good for, again, all your 7.3 trucks, all the way up through your 6.0 trucks. Um, when they changed the headlight housing is when they went to the 6.7 diesel. So anyway, those will fit just about anything. Um, also, I painted this inside grill right here, just painted it black to, again, just match the theme. Also painted these little inside louvers. Um, this truck, when I first bought it, had a cracked lower valance. So I went ahead and bought a new lower valance off of Amazon, installed that, and uh, just nice clean balance there. This was actually broken right here, and the bottom side of that chrome bumper was exposed. Just didn't look very good, so went ahead and replaced that. I got all this stuff on Amazon for like dirt cheap. All of it's like aftermarket parts, you know. So the headlight housings, I think I've got I think I got both headlight housings for like 90 bucks. Um, the headlights that actually went in them are more expensive than the housings themselves. So like I say, when you go with a smoked headlight housing, sometimes that can really cut down on visibility at night. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you replace your stock headlight bulbs with a better, more updated, brighter bulb. So I went ahead and did that. Also, this bug deflector, again, Amazon. I think maybe that was like 60, 70 bucks, if that. Um, oh, another big thing that I did that was a huge upgrade over the factory truck was these tow mirrors. So these are actually a replica mirror of a 6.7 diesel. So the newer like 2013 truck and up, these are those tow mirrors. So I went ahead and installed these. As you can see, it's got a huge glass on them especially your uh, blindside glass. A lot bigger than the factory one was. Um, it makes a world of difference for like interstate driving, changing lanes, stuff like that. Also, they pull out their fully um, extendable tow mirrors. So uh, if I'm pulling trailers or anything like that, easy enough to just pop them out, pop them back in when I'm not towing. And uh, believe it or not, being able to pull those out helps quite a bit when you got a big trailer behind you. Also, these mirrors have integrated turn signals as well as running lamps. Um, you just wire those up through the truck. You gotta kinda go into the dash and find your wiring there. If you're wanting to do these style of tow mirrors on your truck, just make sure to look up a ride up and get your wiring right there. So, fairly easy to install, not too bad. Also, I installed a tonneau cover. And this was one of my favorite upgrades because I wanted something that I could still easily access inside and outside of the bed um, without having to, you know, crunch down and get inside of a topper. I originally was wanting to put a topper on this truck, but now that I ran it with a town of cover, I don't think I'd go a topper route um, unless I was seriously thinking about truck camping like long periods of time anymore. I just throw my canvas cutter in the back of this thing. Good enough for me. Also, I'm a big tent camper. I love camping in tents, so um, just having a tonic cover works pretty well. This is actually the uh, North Mountain brand right there. Again, Amazon purchase like 280 bucks. Everything local I could find at the truck uh, accessories places uh, were like 500 plus for the same style of tonic cover. And honestly, this one isn't like bad design or build or anything like that. It really is a nice tonic cover. Um, for cheap so 280 bucks you're in it and it really does a pretty good job it definitely does a really good job of keeping moisture and water out so up at the front there's a seal and you can't really see it but there's a seal that runs down here flush to the box and it really does a good job of keeping moisture out just a velcro ton of cover roll it out and push that velcro down this one actually has the cross braces as well so it's got aluminum cross braces in it 
and what that really helps with is it keeps it from flapping on the road. A lot of tonic covers have issues with that. This one does not have that bad of an issue. So anyway, oh yeah, and then I installed mud flaps. They don't really do much because the tire is still sticking outside of the fender pretty good, um, but they do a little bit. So I don't know, I'm going back and forth and debating on putting uh, just a real sleek set of fender flares on this thing and paint match Raptor lining the fender flares again to match the white of the truck. Reason for that is these wide tires, they throw a lot of rocks. They throw a lot of rocks and my driver's side tow mirror, brand new tow mirror, my, my uh, back tire there outside of the fender well flipped up a rock, hit my tow mirror, broke my brand new mirrors. Kind of sucks. So thinking about just installing some low profile fender flares, again, paint matching them just so they look good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of just big bulky fender flares, but anyway, I think that's about the update for the outside of the truck. Let's check out the inside. I don't think I've showed you guys the interior of this truck. So here we go. This truck is a full Lariat truck. So it's a four door Lariat. It's leather, uh, power seats, power windows, heated seats, all that. This truck <laughs> comes with age. This thing's got, well, it had 261,000 when I bought it. And so obviously the driver's seat has a little bit of wear and tear. I need to go through and either just replace the leather or just find a replacement seat. There's a lot of these trucks driving around. So a lot of times you can find seats for them reasonably cheap. Um, all the other seats are in pretty good condition. The passenger seat is almost perfect. Um, the rest of the interior, the dash, nothing's cracked on the dash or anything like that. The steering wheel's got some wear to it. Probably just put a cover on that. Um, back seats. Again, full leather, four door. Nice little truck, honestly. So, um, guys, like I say, this truck is like not hard to come by, um, especially at a pretty decent price point. So, like, if you're, uh, <laughs> we got another one right there. <laughs> See, they're everywhere. <laughs> If you are looking for a 7.3 diesel, um, like I say, they're not that hard to come by, but you're typically gonna buy them with either high miles, which I'm not too scared of, because these 7.3 diesels really do run amazing. Um, we've got another truck at work, almost identical truck, uh, but it's got a flatbed on it, has 470,000 miles, runs like a champ. We've never done any significant motor work to it at all whatsoever. Um, we've done like H-pop lines, and uh, glow plugs, which is pretty common. And other than that, nothing's too crazy. These trucks really run good. They last a long time. Um, great truck to have around. So anyway, if you're looking for one of these trucks, I would suggest looking for one with a little bit of rust and do what I did to it. So watch the videos that I had previously uploaded where I show you guys how to install rocker panels, quarter panels, and then just shoot it with Raptor liner. And uh, you end up with a pretty dang nice looking truck and for pretty cheap. So you can find these things a little bit rusted with those 200,000 mile range. Like I said, this had 261,000 on it. I've got 276,000 on it now. Put a little bit of mileage on it. Um, but you know, it got me to Montana and back like a champ. Got me to Kentucky and back like a champ. And here in another week, we're gonna be driving out to Utah for the total archery challenge. I know it's gonna do just fine going out there. So if you want a truck that you can trust, Go try to find yourself a 7.3 diesel, fix it up a little bit. Um, I bought this truck originally for 5,500 bucks and that's kind of the price range you can find these things in. And then even with wheels and tires, all the paint, body work, everything that I did to it, I'm only 8,800 bucks into this truck. So if you want a nice truck, do a little bit of work, you can get yourself a nice truck. So anyway, I think that's all the updates I got. Yep, I don't think I've done anything else too crazy to it. Nice little truck. Guys, if you like any of this stuff that I'm wearing, I've got some logo merch on my website. It's just whitetailfit.com and you can look it up. I've got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, all that good stuff. So if you wanna help support the brand, help support the lifestyle, the Whitetail Fit community, I would really appreciate it if you went on, check out the gear, see if you like something. Anyway, if you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give this video a like. Appreciate y'all, catch you next time, peace.